Welcome back for my more important analysis videos on Wednesday 9th of August with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets. Let's have a look at cable. Cable has been dropping and it's now posted sort of three strong negative candles out of the four last four sessions. Um, momentum indicators increasingly corrective, RSI below 50. That's the, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, basically back, um, if it sort of closes decisively below 50, you'd say that that sort of is increasingly corrective on the momentum. Um, and uh, you've got the fact that, uh, as I said, the um, sort of market down three bear candles um, after Tuesday's move, or sorry, uh, after Monday's candle was sort of a little bit uh, neutral. But the, mar the market is now back below or and closed below the 30 big figures support. Um, psychological, yes, but also a uh, basis of uh, support um, nonetheless. And uh, 30 to 30.50, I've been taking as a bit of a pivot band, really. Uh, and that is closed below that level. So that now becomes a basis of resistance, this pivot band. And it's interesting that yesterday, 30.50 on a, on a sort of a, a little near-term range basis became basis of resistance again so 3050 uh, initially now is your basis of resistance interesting also that we're sort of back towards that uh, the bottom of that little range that we had um, and that comes in around 3020 and again that seems to be sort of limiting the sterling rally so far today but rallies seem to be sort of used as a chance to sell now uh, you see these um RSI, if that fails at 60, MACD lines fail under neutral, if the stochastics roll over again, that would all suggest again that uh, these sort of rallies are being sold into. So 31, sorry, 3050, 3060 area being this sort of resistance now near term. Uh, up to 3110, so another sort of lower high under sort of 3110, I think that it really does put the pressure onto the downside. Uh, in terms of your correction. Um, initial support yesterday is low 29.50, but then you're looking at 29.30 from the 20th of July. Um, and if you break below that, you're looking at 28.30, which is this reaction low. Um, 28.30 to 28.10, sort of uh, these two reaction lows here from July. So that uh, would be uh, an increasingly corrective move if we did see a move back below that uh, on 29.50 today, so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later, thank you.